Hello. In this series of seven videos, we're going to sketch the ten most popular parent functions. In this third video, we're going to graph the square and the square root function. y equals x squared, y equals the square root of x. And again, as we've done previously, let's make a table of values. For every value of x, let's figure out what the y value is. And oftentimes it's helpful to start off with simple negative values like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So if I have x equals negative 3, negative 3 quantity squared is 9, a positive 9. Negative 2 quantity squared is a positive 4. Negative 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. And this will give us just a real quick example. Let's start at the vertex 0 comma 0, and this is the point 1 comma 1, and the point negative 1 comma 1. Now be careful, this is not a 45 degree angle because we're going to be accelerating upwards. 2 comma 4 is right here. Here's negative 2 comma 4. Notice we have symmetry about the y-axis. And lastly, let's do 3 comma 9 and then negative 3 comma 9. And if we sketch a graph, we're going to see a nice, gentle parabola. And this actually goes on further, infinitely. This is a parabola. y equals x squared is a parabola centered at the origin, the vertex at the origin. Let's do another one, y equals the square root of x. And again, let's make a table of values. We're going to start off with x values, and we'll figure out what the y values are. But be careful. The negative values, any negative value of x will be um, imaginary. So in other words, on the real Cartesian coordinate plane, we're not going to get any real, any real numbers. If we plug in a negative value, the square root of a negative number is imaginary. So really, the first number we can plug in is 0. And the square root of 0 is 0. So our first point is going to be 0, 0. The next number, and I like to plug in perfect squares here. The square root of 1 is 1. So there's another point. Now, I don't like to put in 2. You could put in 2, but you need, need to use a calculator. Square root of 2, I don't know what that is. Square root of 3, eh, I don't know what that is either. I'm going to put in a perfect square, because I know what the square root of 4 is. The square root of 4 is 2. So the next point that I can figure out is 4, 2. Likewise, I'm going to put in another perfect square, 9. I know the square root of 9 is 3. So I can graph 9, 3. 3. And so your graph is going to look like this. Now I want you to remember um, that it's undefined at negative values of x. But take a look at the parabola that we just did. And what if we were to turn the parabola like this? These two graphs are identical. The one half of the parabola looks like our square root graph. So the parent function, y equals square root of x, should look like this.